Well, we're back to the house. Drew J. Kendrick, he's a local. Boat number four, has a very good history here. He's pretty heck excited. Um, gonna be kind of unique. Normally, I'm not gonna be able to get any footage of me on the water being a co-angler, but tomorrow we're gonna fish somewhere where we're gonna be able to get some footage. So that'll be fun, it'll be kind of a neat experience. You'll be able to see what we're doing, a little bit of what's going on. I'll go a little further into detail when, after the tournament about how everything shook out, what we were fishing, what was going on, kind of how the fish are staying, what they're doing coming in, coming out, um, stuff like that. So hopefully tomorrow, we're doing it at 3 o'clock, hopefully we're going to go down there and lay the hammer on them. I mean, it is Gunnersville, it is TVA, it's fishing tough, but hopefully it works out. Jay. All right, Jay. Woo woo. Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not today, but... Good job. Get up. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Thanks, Dad, I'm carrying that. 
This guy. Put him in here. Scottsboro Tackle Company Pro Jake Hendrick from Grant. Once again, who kept up with us on FLW Fishing today? You knew about this guy. Five of them in the bag, Jay. FLW Tour Stop number one. This is the way you get it done on day one. Listen up. 25 pounds and 12 ounces of them. Pull out the big one, man. Let's see something. You know I want to see it. 25 pounds. Day one weight. He's afraid it'll eat him, man. Those fish do the talking, man. Hey, look this way. Woo! No doubt about it. We got water coming your way right over here. We'll get those back in there. He's going to put them in water right here, buddy. Those are like the biggest ones he's ever held right there, Jake. <laughs> Come on now, man. You know it. Day one, buddy. Getting it started. Yeah, you know, it's day one. You can't win the tournament today, but you can darn well fall behind. And uh, my goal today wasn't to win the tournament. My goal today was to go out and secure a spot in that top ten and get to fish that final day when you can win $125,000. Come here, man. How'd you teach him to catch them like this? I don't know. It's a lot of hard work, wasn't it? You just had to take him out there every day and make him figure it out. That's a pretty awesome start, brother. Thanks, I really appreciate it. I want to thank the folks in Gunnersville here. You know, I live up in Grant, which is right down the road. and We've loved Gunnersville. We, uh, we moved to this area from Chattanooga. I vacationed here many, many times when I was a kid. And great city. I want to say thank you to the fishermen. Uh, I had some company today, and uh, everybody was respectful and kept their distance. And uh, I employed a little bit different technique in order to make them keep their distance. And you'll probably read about that at some point. But uh, I just want to thank the other fishermen for being respectful. We're all out here to try to win this tournament. And sometimes it's hard when you see a guy catching fish like that to keep, you, keep your distance and stay away. But I really appreciate that. You got it, man. Well, good luck to you tomorrow. That's the way to do it on day one, no doubt. Have a great day. Your tournament leader, Jay Kendrick. Let's do it, brother. Logan Thomas out of Calvert City, Kentucky. On the co-angler side. Caught you three of them as well today. Pretty healthy slab. Yeah, that was a uh, incredible day to witness, and I'm really glad I got to net him, and he is one heck of a fisherman. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be there on day four. We'll see what happens. Logan, you are doing really good here with three fish today, buddy. I got you 13 pounds and nine ounces, which puts you into third place right now, brother. We just pulled out of Gunnersville, headed down towards Texas. Stock number one of the year is done. We had a good start. I mean, I finished 22nd, got a good check. It's a good, good way to start the year, good points. Um, had an opportunity to do really well. First day, I the best guy you can draw, the leader. You know, I, had, I drew Jake Hendrick, he had 25, 12, or something that first day. Super good dude, caught him on a bridge, kind of a big swim bait deal, typical of what you see at Gunnersville early season. You know, basically, they want to call it spring fishing, but we're still in a winter pattern. Um, all he was doing was fishing basically a pinch point. You know, the bass are funneling through this bridge, going back, kind of staging, I guess you could say. Not really staging a spawn, but it's that time of year where they're starting to move in and uh he's catching on a big swim bait a scotch pearl tackle this is a five inch he was throwing a six inch this is what i caught mine on that same day we he had four off that bridge which obviously you saw in the video he caught i think you actually only saw three those are the three biggest ones he had all day um, they were all six, six and a quarter, or six and a half pounders. I mean, they're big. And then he caught another one there. And then we left and went to another place, kind of an offshore deal. And he was a cool dude. Most of the time when you fish these tour events, those guys don't, uh, don't give you much. And they shouldn't. I mean, we're there to fish used water. 
that's just kind of how it is but he was very appreciative of me not casting up on the bridge and messing with him and kind of encroaching his water so he said we're gonna go somewhere I'll catch number five and I'll make sure you get a few more bites before we go to weigh in I had a two-pounder um, in the live well that I caught on a shaky head at the bridge but we uh, ran down to that offshore place pulled up he caught his fifth one about a three pounder and it just kind of worked out for me I, I had two bites there they were both five and a half five and three quarter pounders um, big ones for this event so that first day I had three that weighed 13 nine it had me in ninth place really really good start to the event and then day two, I drew Jeremy Lawyer. He was out of Missouri. He's the one that won the BFL All-American last year. Super good guy. Hell of a fisherman. He, uh, we went out the second day. He had like 15, eight the first day. So he was around them. We fished hard. We had a uh, really late um, check-in time. We didn't have to be until five. So we got out of there about 7.20 in the morning. I fished till five, so it was a long day a lot of offshore grass and all the places he caught them that first day and neither one of us had a bite all day it was tough and I just got lucky that my 13.9 held me where I needed to be um, I had a feeling after the first day I knew I was gonna get paid because check cut was only like 4.4 or something like that so generally the first day when you double it that's gonna be pretty close to what check cut is so that would only been 8.8 .8, you know I had 13 so I knew I was gonna get paid but I didn't think I was gonna finish as well as I did um, I finished 22nd which I figured I was gonna fall into the 40s but hey 22nd I'll take it I'm happy I'll take the points move on to the next one and we're on our way to Texas right now I think we have like nine or ten days or something before practice starts for Travis so we got a buddy that comes deer hunting with us in Illinois that lives out here in College Station, and we're gonna go hang out at his house for a few days. Try and shoot a couple pigs. Um, just kind of have a little breather before the second event, and see how that one goes. I've never been to Travis. Don't really know much about it, but that's part of life. Nobody really has fished here much, so we're gonna go down here, see how it happens. Looks like it's a pretty clear leg. See if we can't get a bite. Thank you. 